Bloody hell, that's getting bad. <laughs> anyway, it's time for Weird Chocolate Bars again. Oh goody. This time from Amsterdam, because that's where they were sent in from, I don't know. Presenting Tony's Choco Lonely. I'm sorry to hear that, Tony. Does that mean you're lonely because you haven't got any chocolate? Or you're lonely because you've got too much chocolate? Or loneliness and chocolate are in some way connected in your head due to a neurological disorder? I have no idea, but I'll tell you what, I've just noticed there's an apostrophe, so it just means the Choco Lonely belongs to Tony. Well, we got to the bottom of that mystery then, crew. Here's the flavour. Brilliant. Fortunately, somebody has translated on the back. Thank you very much. So, orange goes very well with chocolate, no problem there. Rosemary, not so sure about that. Um, that's more something you'd put on your chips in one of those posh burger places. I don't know. Also, slightly worried. Uh, just noted, limited edition 2014. Is that, yeah. Oh no, it is actually within date until November this year. Well, that makes a nice change for this channel. So then... Tony's Choco Lonely. You know, um, I used to know somebody from Amsterdam, and he would, uh, when he met somebody new, he'd talk to them like this, hello, I'm from Amsterdam, and they would talk for a little while, and then all of a sudden, he would uh, suddenly go back to his normal accent, which was a fairly posh-sounding received pronunciation, which is actually how he spoke English, and he'd just change it in the middle of a sentence. And, you know, nine times out of ten, nobody would pick him up on it. And that is a story. And now some chocolate. Right. Uh, oh god, there's all sorts of guff inside. It's the story of Tony. He lived through several years. My god, what a time we live in. Right, it's very nicely foil wrapped and all that. Bit of a Willy Wonka thing going on. Maybe Tony wishes he was Willy Wonka. But which version? The Johnny Depp one? Or the G... Uh, well, obviously not the Johnny Depp one, actually. It was bloody weird, wasn't it? Right, let's get into this and... We're... Oh, good lord interesting shape. You've got a round bit with a broken chain in the middle and lots of other random pieces here. So if you wanted to distribute it evenly amongst several people, you're shit out of luck, mate. Right, I'm going to try this corner and just hope it isn't too disgusting. It looks like fairly dark chocolate. Let's go. Oh. Um. Okay, not getting a hint of orange, getting a hint of rosemary. And it ain't that nice. Um. Yeah, they haven't overdone the rosemary, which is a good thing. The orange is kind of manifesting as a sort of subtle hint of something fruity. You can't actually make out it's orange. Oh no, wait, here we go. Yeah, I'll make out it's orange now. There's something slightly gritty in it. I presume that's the rosemary. Mm. Yeah, the rosemary's kind of gone now. Just leaving a kind of more orangey tang. Yeah. And that's all right. That is all right. Um, I didn't like the sort of weird savoury hit at first of the rosemary, but it soon fades and adds a little edge to the orange. Well done, Tony. I'm not entirely sure I'd want to eat that again, but it wasn't horrible. And frankly, for this channel, that is amazing. Next up, cranberry and... Cranberry and aniseed. Do we really need aniseed in our chocolate bars? Apparently we do. Because Tony found a load in the back of a dumpster or something, right. Let's break a bit off the car. Oh, which one of the corners, though? I'm going to go for this one. And have that little bit there. You can certainly see the cranberries, isn't it? I wonder if the taste will linger. <laughs> Pop music joke. Um. Hmm. Not getting anything aniseedy. Oh wait, here we go. Hmm. These are interesting things to eat because the flavours change quite considerably as you're eating them. Um, yeah. Okay, this one kind of went hint of cranberry, then hint of aniseed, then much more aniseed. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure the aniseed goes with the chocolate, frankly. Um, the cranberry's just kind of drowned out by it. Hmm. Again, not unpleasant, I suppose, but not very pleasant either. It's sitting very much on the neutral fence of chocolate. Yeah. Yeah, don't want any more of that. Mm. Yeah, it's not going to make it ill, but it's not going to put you in uh, chocolate heaven either. Interesting. <clears throat> Go on then, Tony, a green one. This worries me already. Almond and sea salt, as opposed to moon salt. Um, so, almond, yeah, salt. <clears throat> I suppose they're going for like a salted caramel vibe thing going on. Well, there's one way to find out. Do we really want dark chocolate again? Okay, that obviously is Tony's thing. 
No, sorry, I'll just have a larger piece and bite it off. Ah. Ah. Oh, God. Yeah, the salted caramel thing is really... Everything is salted now, have you noticed that? I bought some salted salt the other day. Drew me arse up to me elbows. Um, this, is a, this one is probably the crappest. You can't really taste the almond or the chocolate particularly. The salt just seems to have taken the edge off everything. I'll try another bit. Um, yeah, it's not like got masses of salt in it or anything. It's just coming across as strangely unflavoured chocolate. That's weird. It's like he's poured salt in it to neutralise it, like it was some sort of um, alkaline thing or something. I've forgotten my chemistry there, I can't remember if that works or not. All right. Yeah. yeah, pointless. Pointless chocolate of pointlessness. I got a hint of almond when I got a big lump and that was it, really. Nope, don't see the point of that one at all. And finally, pecan and coconut. This sounds nice, you say. Why have you left it to last? Because I fucking hate coconut, is the answer to that. Well, I can sort of stand fresh coconut. I don't particularly enjoy it. You know, it's sort of dried and desiccated. Coconut is bloody awful. Oh, God. <clears throat> Pecan is a good nut, though. It's a superior nut. Ooh, my hands look horrible. It looks like I've been handling poos. Right. Um. Oh, actually. Ooh, that's very nice. I was getting the pecan. We don't live with that, dark chocolate and pecan. I'm not even getting a hint of coconut. Tremendous. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, oh, oh, it all just turns to coconut at the end when the other stuff goes, ah. Oh. oh, great, it's probably going to stick between the teeth. Yep. That just tastes like bits that have fallen off a bounty bar or something. Arseholes to it. Yeah, well, Tony Chocolonely, you have done us proud in the chocolate world with your weirdnesses that kind of aren't horrible but don't quite work. I don't really know how else to describe it. Maybe your mileage will vary, but as ever, if you disagree with me even slightly, you're completely wrong because that's how the internet works.